Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, this is my birthday money, y'all know. And when y'all get this, it's actually will be my birthday. Right now, I'm 53. But when you see this video, I'll be 54 years old. Retired, living on my own ability to do what I want, when I want, where I want. And when you get this video, I'll probably be on my way to the airport or I'll be at the airport when it's uploads, headed to Las Vegas to uh, celebrate my birthday for a few days. So yeah, so I wanna share with y'all something I've been eating for years and I kind of copycatted this recipe. If you ever been to Dairy Queen, if you're from the country, you know about the DQ dude. And I had the little inside tip what they do, how they make it a few years ago. And I quit buying it at Dairy Queen. I make my own at home sometimes. All these, y'all, the chicken fried steak sandwich on a sesame seed bun with some lettuce and tomato, a little sweet secret sauce there. That's all it is. And that's what I'm supposed to make for y'all today. Chicken fried steak sandwich on the hamburger bun with some lettuce and tomatoes, a little sauce. It don't get no better, y'all. DQ dude. So I'm gonna step off, get my lettuce all sliced up, my tomatoes all sliced up, get my milk set up, my bread and steak set up, and we're gonna fry this off. Very quick, simple recipe. This is thought about celebration uh, birthday week here on the 14th of March. So y'all sit back. Monday motivation menu idea favorites. Just getting started. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, let's get started here. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do, I got a cutlet here, which is round steak, chicken fried steak, pounded round steak, however you're gonna say it. That's what I use for my chicken fried steak and normal people use. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season both sides of this. I guess I'm trying to have my thing real seasoned already. But I think it's boring sitting here watching people season meat. I mean, who, couldn't, who can't season meat, right? So I put some Calvin is on there, y'all. And a little salt and pepper there. I got my grease heating up here behind me. Some regular oil. 350 degrees if you're playing at home in a deep fryer. Okay, I'm gonna do flour, buttermilk, flour, and the grease, y'all. Just like I do my any normal chicken fried steak. I'm gonna three matches, flour, into my, I use whole buttermilk, flour. And she is really, really coated on there, y'all. Nothing worse, you know my pet peeve, biting a chicken fried steak and the bread comes off. And into the grease. Move it all over here in just a second. She's just really, really coated. And then the flour here. into the grease. Turn it down just a little. Just a little, get this one here. Like I say y'all, when I used to go to Dairy Queen, which I still do, it's one of my go-to's right here, y'all. Okay, move y'all over here so y'all can see action. Y'all can see the action over here going on right here. There we go. Just one of these trying to get too dark on me too early. Oh yeah, let me flip this one over here. That one's gonna try to get a little bit too dark too early. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try to cook these five or six minutes on each side till they completely cooked. Then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna drain them on a wire rack. Come back. We're gonna toast the buns off in the skillet. And that's easy, that, that's it, y'all. Very simple. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, these are ready here. And I'm gonna take these off of here. Look how crispy and nice these are, y'all. See how the bread and stayed on there nicely? See that? That's what you want. I'm gonna move this skillet, put the other one right here. Move this out the way before it fall on me. Let me throw my, get my grease bucket. I know I got my grease bucket right here. Do it like my mama pour hot grease in the grease bucket. 
Y'all know that. Y'all know about that grease. Y'all know about that can of grease. That grease can sitting on top of the stove. Y'all don't know about that. That's old for country folks know about that. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna get some butter for my buns. Y'all know this is my camping skillet and my hamburger bun skillet. If I don't even want to use my flat top, I'll use this skillet right here. So what I'm gonna do is heat it up, get some butter. You gotta have some butter on them buns. Open these buns up here. Move y'all over here in just a second. Let me get the buns opened up. Well, yeah, y'all, I'm excited about this week. This is my first plane trip this year. I got 12 more plane trips to go this year. Various places. I got a few meet and greets. A lot of meet and greets, not a few. A lot of meet and greets this year. Y'all yeah, gonna have to take a plane too. I just love to travel. And I have a, this is my actual first trip since I retired in January. You know, with the COVID and all that going on. So, yeah, I had to kind of wait. But this one I planned back in October. It's a bucket list, y'all. My birthday in Vegas. I ain't got to worry about nobody telling me I can't go. Or I have to be back at a certain time. And da da da. No. I have full control of my life and nothing like that. Like I told y'all in the video, it's nothing like having 100% control of your life. Okay, y'all. Let me spray this here, and I'm gonna be right back once these skillet heat up. Let me show y'all over here. I was over there, all over there. I'll show you what I got over here before I come back. I got my buns with some butter on it. I got my lettuce here ready, my tomato, and my little burger, uh, special burger sauce that you can get from, uh, I get this from H-E-B. It's called the secret uh, burger sauce. I get this at H-E-B. See this, this stuff is amazing, y'all. You know that secret sauce like they have at uh, Burger King? Not Burger King, but McDonald's on the Big Mac. It tastes exactly like that, y'all. That's the secret sauce. Like I said, y'all, this ain't no old school dish. It's just very, very good. So, hey, y'all, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, let me move y'all back over here to the hot part here. All right, skill is heating up. All I'm going to do, y'all, put these buns in here. Like I say, y'all, this is my burger bun skillet. I don't want to, uh, when I don't want to, uh, use my flat top grill, I just break out my skillet right here, y'all. It don't take long. I want, like I say, you got to have some butter on them buns. Get them toasted on both sides here. It's good eating, good eating, good eating. Like I say, y'all, this is one of my, my little, uh, comfort meal to go to one of my breakfast favorites breakfast favorite one of my road trip favorites I'll turn that over and i'm gonna flip it back over too i like to toast the bun on both sides i'm gonna flip it back over i'm gonna get that side warm you know finish it off on the other side and nothing worse than having a cold hamburger bun when you're eating a burger or any kind of sandwich with a hamburger bun consists of it I'm telling y'all, I just don't get no, it's just, it doesn't get worse than that. You got to have the bun warm and toasty. Got to. But y'all, send me a, I don't know how many people on here from Texas are in the Dairy Queen area. How many people go to Dairy Queen ever tasted the dude? A lot of people look at the hamburger and, uh, and stuff like that in the Dairy Queen. I'm curious how many people like the DQ dude in Dairy Queen. I'm very curious. How many people do? Okay. Let me move y'all over here. We put the bill this sandwich, y'all. We put the bill this sandwich right up. Okay, let me cut the heat off. Cut the heat off. Got that nice toasted bun there. Okay. I'm going to put the sauce on the bottom. Now, they don't put the sauce on the bottom on theirs. They just put it on the top. They don't know what they're doing at Dairy Queen. I have to go over there and show them what they're doing wrong. Put the lettuce on there. Put me some sliced tomatoes on here. Yeah, I'm gonna slice, you I would dice up the tomatoes. I'm gonna slice these up, y'all. Make it look pretty. Okay, throw your chicken pie steak on there on top. Okay, get my top bun here. Alrighty, spread this around, make sure it's good on there, throw that on there, 
good when that meat overlap in the, the bun, you know you got enough meat on there, y'all. All right. How that's looking right there, y'all. How that's looking right there. Okay, look, y'all, I'm going to step off, do that world-famous YouTube thumbnail, and we'll be right back. And we're going to try this out. I already know it's good. I got to prove it to y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. All right, let me push this one to the side. I made two of them because I got people going with me tomorrow in Vegas. The, the deal is, no, you're going to meet at my house the day before we go anywhere. You know you got them people. Well, I'm on my way. I'm getting, I'm just, I'm on my way and da-da-da. We all late. One person making everybody late. No, everybody comes here and we leave together and go together. Because that's how, you know how people are. So, yeah, why well, I got an extra sandwich here. So, anyway, y'all, let me, let's, uh, let me show y'all close up how this is. And the reason I didn't, you know, I would dice my tomatoes again. This is a softer cluster type tomato. So, there's no need to even slice, dice this one up. It's so nice and, uh, right. So, yeah. So, anyway, y'all, we're going to go in here, y'all. Should I get this one? Let's see what a good bite going to be. Mm, mm, mm. Let me give another bite. Look at that. Mm. Another bite. Mm. 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 Wow. I'm telling y'all. Mm. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. And the good thing about like I do the the way I do the flour, buttermilk flour, grease, the breading stays on this chicken fried steak. Nothing more. I'm biting your chicken fried steak sandwich, or even eating a chicken fried steak, you cut into it, the breading come off, and the meat is there. The breading is supposed to stay on there properly. It's supposed to be perfectly tender. Mm -hmm. That bun, nice and toasty and warm. No problem. Another bite. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Get no better, y'all. Mmm. All right, y'all. Let me get something to drink. Something to drink here. All right. I'm back. Okay. But anyway, y'all. This is probably the last cooking video until Thursday. So like I said, the next three days I'll be Viva Las Vegas. And I'll be doing a lot of Las Vegas Live spontaneously. I can't tell you what time it's going to be when I pop on live. And then I'll be going live in the next three days, maybe four or five times from Vegas. And I'm going to get a lot of footage, a lot of restaurants I want to go to. Pepper meal, I always have to go there. Tacos, I go to, I gotta go there. I'm going to Bacchanal Buffet. I'm going to Hell's Kitchen. I'm going to uh, 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 oh, Hash House of Go Go. I'm going to Mondagabi, Mondagabi in the Paris Hotel. I'm going there. So, a lot of, and also I gotta go to uh, the pizza place downtown uh, all Fremont. So it's going to be a lot of eating. Ain't no exercising this week. I got to hit the gym hard next week. But it's all about eating, enjoying life, enjoying myself, uh, reaping the benefits and the, and, the, and the benefits of working hard all my life and relaxing and doing what I want to do. And this is one <clears throat> this is one of those weeks. So anyway, y'all, I appreciate everybody watching. Like I say, when you get this video, I'll be 54 years old. I got a, what I got about 46 more years ago. I told you I'm going to be doing this till I'm 100 years old. Be the oldest YouTuber in history of the world. I'll be cooking to 100 years old, y'all. Y'all get ready. But anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV. A new one, y'all need to follow. I'm focusing on more and more every day. It's TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. I'm just start posting. I'm only doing food right now. But I'm going to start doing some crazy videos. I'm still working on how to do it. I got my young uh, friends who kind of give me hints how to do it. I'm going to start doing a little crazy dancing. We took the music and like I'm lip syncing. Y'all going to love this. Follow me on TikTok, y'all. That's when I'm really, y'all think I'm crazy and all that now? <laughs> y'all going to really see the real me. So, yeah. But anyway, y'all, 
Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.